So, Dicko, frustrating game. You wanted a better first half, which we had, but never really got going in the second half. No, we never. To be fair, we were fantastic first half. Everything we asked them to do, stay in the game, don't concede goals, play as a team. We played lovely football. We've just said to the lads in there, we just we just don't have the football know-how at the minute and you can't give people experience. When we get in the moments when we should punish teams and get ourselves more on the front foot where we can turn the knife like they, they're doing to us at the minute, we just don't score the goals. You know, and it's coming back to bite us over and over again. But I won't slag them off for that effort today. That was I thought they were fantastic in the first half. I think the crowd appreciated how they played, how they applied themselves. It was nice to watch. Um, it's just that the minute they get the first goal, they know how to turn the screw. They know how to shut the game down. They waste time. They're putting pressure on the ref. They're getting away with cynical fouls, which I thought the ref was poor for today. The amount of cynical fouls they made. Every time we made them, it was a yellow card. So it's frustrating, but it's the reality of the league we play in. They have good football know-how. They know how to shut games down. And we're just not, the luck's just not breaking with us at the minute. And I said to the lads, if we'd have got the first goal, I, th I sincerely believe we'd have ran away 3-0 winners there today if we'd got the first one. But they got it, they were clever, they ran the clock down, they wasted time, they did everything they needed to do and so, you know, as frustrating, frustrating as it was, we've got to try and build on that and, and just keep plugging away until things turn our way. Were you, were you disappointed with the second half or was it just, just moments that... I think I think we keep talking about this with the players. The first goal in every game is absolutely vital in this league, I think. I think the team that normally scores the first goal has the momentum to go on and win the game. And unfortunately, at the minute, I just feel like every time we concede, we're letting it knock the wind out of our sails. And we've just said to them there, maybe we need a little bit more football know-how, but maybe we need a bit more character as well. Just to give us that little lift after we score and keep on plugging away um, and believing we can score. But even then, at the end there, We've missed two or three golden opportunities to score goals and they're just passing us by and it's, I think it's just circumstances. But we had it last year, we kept our head down, we kept working hard and it all come good in the end for us. So we've got no other choice, we've just got to keep our head down, try and get that first result and then build and build and build and try and get momentum like we did last year. So we're away again on Tuesday in the league and then uh, home next Saturday in the, in the Cup against Lower Breck, who obviously had a frustrating game at the first game of the season. Will you be making changes for the Cup game? or? First of all, we're going to, uh, I think it's Earlham on Tuesday yeah. night, yeah. I think it is. Um, we're going to make changes because we have no choice. We've got 14 available players out of a squad of, I think, about 36. We've got 14 available. So we're, we're dealing with the 14 that are going there, so there'll definitely be changes whether we like it or not. Uh, that's another unfortunate situation we find ourselves in with work commitments and family commitments and holidays and stuff. Um, what happens towards that going towards next weekend, I don't know. Unfortunately, where we would normally like to play the younger lads next Saturday, possibly against Lower Breck for experience, we might have to use that game just to try and build momentum and keep working on the stuff we need to deal with for the league, league games at the minute. Um, but we deal with every game as it comes. You pick up injuries, things just come at you at the last minute you have to deal with. So we'll see. It'll be as strong a team as we can put out from the players available on Tuesday. And the reality is it'll probably be the strongest team we can get out again next Saturday. Cheers, Dicker. Good luck on Tuesday. Thank you.